What's up everybody, Tendo here, and I've been thrift shopping, and I bought too much stuff, as I tend to do. Send help, I have a problem. My first stop for the day is the Goodwill Bins. And you know the Goodwill Bins is a little bit difficult to explain to people who have never been there. So what I like to do to explain the Goodwill Bins is to use a Harry Potter reference. Any Harry Potter fans in the house, comment below. Your boy is the biggest Harry Potter fan ever. I'm a bigger fan than you are. I'll fight you. Don't tell me any different. JK, there's enough Harry Potter to go around. But the reference I like to use is the room of requirement. You know how Harry and his friends, they have this great huge need. They have this problem and they don't know how to solve it. And then Hogwarts just magically produces a room in which all of their needs are met. That's what goes on here at the bins. You walk in here and even if you don't know exactly what problem you have... This place is going to provide you with some solution to the problems that you have. And this might all sound very fantastical to you, but here's what I mean. I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to build something out of, say, sheet metal, and I thought, man, I really don't want to spend as much as a large piece of sheet metal costs. And then I walk in here and find something that I can pay a few bucks for and salvage enough sheet metal for to carry out that creative project. Or here's another great example. I have always wanted a controller collection. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted a wall full of controllers. And now, I have a wall full of controllers, and I would say more than 75% of them I bought here at the bins. This place will give you what you need if you just show up enough. At least that's how I feel about it. I really do feel like this dirty, dirty place is a magical place. You just have to be there when the stuff is there. And today, there was a lot of stuff, as you saw... I got my hands on a busted up N64 controller. That might be nice for parts. These cases here are all empty, which is always a bummer to see, especially when they're okay to good titles. Here is a copy of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. No case for it, but I might have the case at home. We'll see. And then I kept digging around, and the next thing that I find, well, there's quite a funny story behind it. There is one specific item at the bins that everyone there that shops there regularly knows me specifically for. And it's these Orange Life Fests because I was part of a film shoot one time and for this film, we needed hundreds of these Life Fests. And I told everyone involved in the project, don't worry about it, I will get the Life Fests. Don't worry about it. And they couldn't fathom how I was gonna do it. But sure enough, I showed up with about a hundred of these things. And what was my secret for showing up with about a hundred life vests for next to no cost? Of course, it was the Goodwill bins. And that's also how I have my hands on all the good Nerf guns. As you see, here's one. I didn't end up buying because you might not be able to tell, but I can tell. It's missing several pieces. Yeah. Then the last thing that I found right before I left comes thanks to another one of the regulars. It's a Wii. He knew I might be interested, so he handed it to me. And I don't always buy Wii's here when I find them because if I bought every one I ever saw, I'd have hundreds and hundreds of Wii's because they show up a lot. But I did actually just trade my last loose one in for trade-in credit. So I'm going to go ahead and get another one on deck for the next trade-in haul video. So I'm looking around to see if I can find any peripherals because there almost always is. And sure enough, right off the bat, here is a stand for a Wii. It's missing its clear acrylic bottom, but that's all right. I literally, literally have a bag full of them at home. So I'm looking around just trying to find a power cable because a lesson that the same gentleman that just handed me the Wii taught me very early on in my coming to the bins, you've got to check the Wiis because they almost always have a disc in them. And that's what I am doing right now. I'm going to find a power cable and I'm going to plug this thing up. I, it's kind of, here you go, there it is. I was just about to tell you, it's kind of funny how confident at this point I am there is a Wii power cable in these bins. Even if there's not a Wii, there's a Wii power cable in the bins. It's such a regular thing. We joke about it all the time. We've often joked we could make bingo cards for the things that show up in the bins regularly. And one of the giveaways would definitely be a Wii power cable. That's why I have a bag of all Wii peripherals at home. It's just the console that's easiest to find right now. So I'm going to get this bad boy plugged up. We're going to see if there's anything inside. I'm hoping there's something good. The last good thing that I got was a copy of Super Smash Brawl out of a Wii, but there have probably been about two dozen copies of Wii Fit in between that happening and now. But I'm pretty sure that's what's about to happen. Here comes a copy of Wii Fit in three, two and a half, two, one, point five, uh, what's below point five, point three, and zero. And it's iSpy. 
That's a game I can't really remember if I already have it, but it doesn't matter because there's no case. But I'm tickled. I'm always tickled when there's a game. It just feels like you've won the treasure hunt. On to the next Goodwill now. This is a Goodwill I am probably more familiar with than any other Goodwill in town, and that's because it is just down the road from my first apartment that I moved into when I first moved to Phoenix. And because this was right next door, I went to it daily for a whole year. And this is really the thrift store that taught me how good thrifting can be here in my town. I've bought a lot of good stuff here over the last couple years. And I I don't know how to tell you this. It's not so much been so great recently. The Goodwill corporate offices have been making a lot of changes. And I've mentioned a few of these on my channel before. But this being a Goodwill that is in a really great spot, it tends to be the place where they implement some of these changes first to kind of test them out, etc. So one of those changes is they are actually taking the time to look up video games and get more money out of them. And that's not a problem. There's obviously nothing wrong with that. They have every right to do it, but it is of course a bummer for me. I like getting them cheap, but there's always hope because there are still games on the regular shelves and I'm going to check them out and see if there's not any gold nuggets hidden in there. Here's a copy of Doom, but I put it aside. I thought I would take a look at it in a minute and decide whether or not to get it. And I'm ashamed to say I actually forgot all about it. I probably should have given that one a little bit more time, but you'll see here in a minute Something else caught my attention and made me forget about everything else. But looking through the games, I'm not seeing a ton. There's just a few titles like this. I'm interested in this because it has a Hollywood video case. I just like collecting those because they're odd. But there's not a lot else here. Dead or Alive 4, also missing its manual. Seems to be a lot of that going around today. Tons of sports titles here. I'm just trying to zoom right past these. This is funny. Here's a copy of the exact same game, but this one for PlayStation 2. But here's what caught my eye and took my attention away from everything else. A ton of Pokemon VHS. And this is something that I really, really wanted for a long time. Not just an infinite number of Pokemon VHS, but just that original series on VHS. It's something I want to build into a display. And I haven't really bought many of them because when I find them, they're pretty rough or, you know, they're missing their actual boxes, which is the most important part to me because I want to display them. But here's a whole stack of them. So I took them all down off the shelf. I took each one of them out of the box, make sure that it matched the case. And I bought every one of them that matched up. I only left one or two behind that were mix matched. On to the next Goodwill now. This one is probably two or three blocks from my house. It, this is a Goodwill that I am equidistant in between this one and another, so it's probably the one that I currently frequent the most, whereas before I moved, that last one was the one that I frequented the most. So right off the bat, lots of games in the lockbox, and mind you, a lot of good games, but the prices on them are immediately not appealing to me, so I didn't really stand around to ask anybody to let me in them all the games on top were six or seven bucks and I'm here for the cheap games which I find over on the DVD racks it's kind of confusing I almost missed all of this that you're about to see I ended up buying the most games here today but I walked past this section two or three times because there was no gaming section which there normally are in these goodwills but it turned out all the games here were just mixed in at random with all the DVDs so I ended up once I realized that, digging through every single one of these racks two or three times just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And I got a pretty big stack of games to go through, including a bunch of flight games. It seems like somebody had a whole collection of Wii flight games and donated them all at once. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if I, don't know if I should be excited that I've got a collection of flight games or a little bit scared that someone donated them all at once because they were all bad. I don't know. But we're going to give them a try. But that's what we do here on Shark Vlog. We play games whether they look good or bad. We've got an ongoing series here where we play games that look terrible in hopes to find games that look good. So definitely go check that out. It's a heckin' good time. As I was waiting in line to check out, I noticed there was a worker standing behind the lockbox. So I decided, oh, I guess I'll go ahead and get her to let me look at the games in the lockbox. And it turned out to be worth it, I guess, but also a bit of a mistake because, as I feared, they were all priced pretty high, and I wanted all of them like I wanted this Wolfenstein game, but what they were charging was about what you'd pay for at the game store, so I don't tend to buy that stuff here at the thrift. This was pretty tempting, too. $6 for this game that was 
in its original cardboard box, which I like. An Uncharted set for the PS3, but I've already got all of that. So I did pick up this PSP game, as well as one other game. Maybe I'll try to go back to this Goodwill on a sale day real soon and get some of these games a few dollars cheaper. And as you can see, I left with a big bag full of stuff. That's that's a lot for one Goodwill. I usually get maybe five games max from each Goodwill, but this was the majority of the haul today. Send help. I have a problem. But the problem really is just that I don't have quite enough room for all of this stuff. I'm going to though, we're gonna move into a bigger space soon. And so some of the things that I bought today are for that future space that I'm thinking about. And I'll start with exactly that. I bought a big stack of Pokemon tapes. I'm gonna have to stand up and show you this because it's it's a lot. <laughs> look, look, at how, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I got 10 OG Pokemon VHS tapes. I'm not mad about that. I would have gotten more, but there was a handful that I left at the store because they were duplicates or they had the wrong ones in them. But the reason I want these for my bigger space is because one of my prized possessions is my big CRTV, which is just right here off camera. And that's what I play most of my video games on. But I have this uh, vision of a wall of Pokemon and Digimon and maybe some Yu-Gi-Oh! VHS tapes surrounding the wall, facing out behind and around my CRT TV, right? And, and just the colors of that, just that, that, that makes me giddy thinking about it. I'm talking about them sitting on the wall, facing out just like that, beautiful. So I'm gonna get that whole original set of Pokemon, that whole original set of Digimon, and one of these days, as my YouTube channel grows and we move into our bigger space that we're planning on, I'll have the most beautiful display behind and around my TV that anyone's ever seen, and you can fight me on that. And let's move on to another thing that's not really video games, but kind of video games. It's a bag of junk. If you've watched any of my thrift hauls at all, you know that I go to the Goodwill bins a lot, which is a Goodwill where you pay for stuff by weight, and you basically can't go there without coming home with a bag of trash. So let's start with Loose Disc, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I haven't looked yet, but I might actually have the case of this. And the disc is not in the worst of condition. So random disc, no biggie. Got a bunch of Nerf stuff in here. This is kind of part of the way in the past I've recouped my insane video game buying habits. I don't currently sell Nerf guns right now, but I need to make a video on this. I have, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 Nerf guns in a storage unit and no less no exaggeration here, no less than probably a thousand different clips of different shapes, sizes, colors, and models. Got a lot of Nerf stuff. I haven't really thought of a way to incorporate Nerf stuff into my YouTube channel. It's just not something that maybe I thought would correlate too much with the video game crowd. I don't know. But if you're into Nerf guns, comment below. Let me know. If you've got kids who are into Nerf guns, comment below. We can get something going. We can do some Nerf stuff on this channel. Just haven't really thought of anything yet. Polaroid camera, I paid for this stuff by weight, so I got it all really cheap, less than a dollar here, and I can get about $10 trade-in credit for these, so I take a box of Polaroid cameras every now and then to my local trade-in store and trade them for video games. That's why I bought that. This, I forgot about this. <laughs> this is my Zorro mask. Comment below, tell me that I look beautiful. Oh, it's a sleep mask, but it's actually a nice one. Anytime I find them, they're big. I don't really have a huge need for these, but I travel a lot, and sometimes I sleep in really random places doing video projects, and uh, you know, it'd just be nice to have one, because I don't sleep well with a lot of light, so I thought it'd be nice. I bought one of these. It is nice, though. Look at it. I, well, I hope it's nice. Does it look nice? I can't see myself right now. I'll have to get back to you how this looks when I'm editing, because... Future Tendo is going to have to be the decider because present Tendo can't see anything because this thing works as it's intended. All right. Dope. Excuse me. I'm naked. Oh, don't look away. I got to put it back on. Don't look at me while I'm naked. Next. Oh, would you look at here? You think I'm joking about having like a thousand nerve clips? Well, look, there's four more. Oh, hey, wait. There's another one. I didn't mean to buy this. I tend to pick things up sometimes and put them in my pocket for a little while over on my Instagram, which, hey, go follow me. A little while for my Instagram, and by a little while, I mean like twice. 
maybe it wasn't Instagram, maybe it was Facebook, but probably Instagram. I posted pictures of the things that I had in my pockets at the end of the day because I have a problem and I pick things up sometimes at the bins and that's what that is, but it'll probably get thrown away. A bandana, uh, I'm gonna have to wash it, make sure it comes back to life because someone else clearly was just wearing it, but I found that at the bins and it's pretty, it's got elephants on it. I like elephants, upside down elephants. Don't discriminate against elephants. And then, we'll get, to, yeah, let's talk about this, I guess. Another loose disc, I spy. As you saw, pulled that out of a Wii. Didn't mean, didn't mean to buy it, actually, because I think I already have it. So there's no need to buy it, but I bought it. I come home with more than I plan to sometimes. Here we go, stack of empty cases and a manual. Well, for one of the, I guess that goes in there, doesn't it? I tend to buy empty cases at the bins when I find them just to have, if they're nice anyways, to have replacement cases. And I do have two or three crushed 360 games on my shelf and I'll just trade them into these cases. But don't you just wish that that was in there? It's probably a great game, don't you think? I don't know. Never played a Hulk video game. Look at this. Pour one out for the homie Nintendo 64 controller. And one for my homies. F's in chat, everybody. <laughs> hey, I got the cable though. I mean, I could probably splice it and fix it because there's nothing wrong with this cable other than where it's frayed. So I, I have the technical skill to fix it, but whether or not I should is another question. Uh, it's pretty gummed up on the back. It's been crushed and stuff. And this brings up another really good question. I've got a collection of controllers growing. It's all in shambles right now because we don't have enough shelves to fill out the wall. But these skinny shelves over here have my controller collection on them. And I just, I, I find enough broken stuff that I thought, well, you know, for the display, why not just put this one with the cord cut on it? It'd be neater. There's no, there'd be no cables wrapped up. Hold on, I'll show you. Here's the same controller, right? <clears throat> It's on a 3D printed stand that I made with my 3D printer. Cables wrapped up on the back and that's great. But this would be a lot neater really. And on that shelf, tucked up there away, just on display, you wouldn't notice that this one was broken. In some regards that makes sense. But you know what, if I start doing that, if I start taking down my good ones and putting up these crappy ones, I'll end up trading the good ones in and then I won't really have a good, pretty, perfect collection. So I'm probably not gonna do that. But comment below, thoughts. For purposes of display, should I just keep the ugly, the ugly broken ones, or should I take the time to fix it? It'll be still kind of beat up if I fix it, but it will, it'll be functional. Cause actually, the stick on this one's really good, pretty good. You don't, you don't always find that. Nine out of ten N64 controllers that I buy, the stick's a bit gummy, but I'm happy enough to find it. I'm not gonna complain, cause it can come back to life. It can still serve some purpose. This is a PS Vita. Power supply, that's pretty awesome. Not mad to find that at all. I don't currently have a PS Vita, I do have a PSP. Matter of fact, I threw back a PSP charger from this haul, because I already have five or six of them. And how many PSP chargers does a guy who only has one PSP need? One, the answer is one, maybe two. One for on the go to keep in your backpack and one to leave plugged up by the bed, because you know your fat ass is laying in bed playing PSP. That's the whole point of the handheld. I think. You might want to take your portable playing devices with you and play them elsewhere. I want to lay my fat self in bed and play them in bed. Last and certainly not least, well, that'd be a lie because two Pokemon cards. <laughs> they were just in a bin. Add them to the collection. Last and certainly not least, a Wii. If you've watched many of my videos at all, I'd say I had to have brought home four or five Wii's at this point. Maybe not. Maybe I've talked more about it than I've actually brought them home. But it's very easy to find Wii's at the Goodwill bins. I have three complete inbox Wii's. One of them was bought complete. Two of them were pieced together from the Goodwill bins. Boxes included. So I, that's, that's my favorite thing to do is to complete inbox consoles, to complete hard to get inbox stuff by finding the pieces at the thrift. And that's what this channel is all about. That kind of adventurous, let's go put a bunch of stuff together. Like, you know. A Pokemon VHS collection because because who does that? I do that. Your boy Tindo does that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I need you to do me a quick favor. Run over to my Twitch page, hit that follow button because we're gonna be streaming all kinds of this crazy stuff that I buy at the thrift stores. That's the point of that Twitch channel, to play crazy stuff that I found at thrift stores. 
But go hit that follow button, and when I go live there, you'll get notifications. Speaking of which, here on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. And hit that bell notification so that when I post videos on here, you'll know to come hang out with me then. And until then, guys, peace out.